Hey, 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 what the heck? What the heck? Sorry, guys. I do understand, Miss Cynthia. I'm definitely sorry. I do understand that the exam is in progress. But then can I please try to explain page number five, question number three? Thank you very much. Yes, guys. Move to question number three. Definitely write as quick as possible. Yes, guys. Are you there? Thank you very much. What does page five question number three says? It says, what is a settlement? I definitely know that I didn't explain settlement on the highest, but then you know, I will do whatever I can to make sure that you pass this class. Miss Cynthia, you know, man, I will give you that cold drink. Can I please try and explain settlement for only 10 minutes? Thank you very much. Yes, guys, Miss Cynthia has given us a chance. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Why? Because of you will pass this class or this exam by the end of the time. What is a settlement? When you think about a settlement, you have to go back in history. Yes, you have to go back in history. I did do history, did get a distinction, but then I do not understand why I'm not teaching it. That is a matter of another day. What I'm trying to say is that when you go back into history, you do understand that our grandfathers or our grand grandfathers were usually people that usually like to migrate. They usually like to move, travel, try to find greener pastures, right? As we know, and most of the science evidence has already told us that most of the life or life in general begin in the southern part of Africa, which means South Africa. Yes, meaning we might be the first people in the world. And we were traveling to find better settlement and we were making kids along the way. We created different races. But then that's a story for another day. I do not want to be controversial. Yes, guys. So that's what I'm trying to say. So people obviously move for a certain reason. They move to a different location for a certain reason. All right. What is a settlement? A settlement, it is an area or a land where a group of people are actually living or there are buildings which are obviously for business right where people are socially linking or there are buildings which are like schools where people are socially linking that is called also a settlement a group of people where you find a group of people in an area that is a particular settlement yes and we definitely know that there is a temporary and a permanent settlement a temporary definitely explains itself those concentration camps where people are coming from different african countries trying to come into south africa for greener postures and they find themselves in the immigration camps and stuff like that right maybe they have to fix their documents before they could be integrated into the society or the country yes guys i'm sorry i'm not going to be writing anything because of it is obviously your exam class how can i write they will be saying you are copying that is not possible all right guys yes and that will definitely take us to our settlement terminology which is called the site what is the site when you think about the terminology site you definitely must think of an exact land an exact area where settlement is located an exact area an exact area simply meaning middle lands it is an exact area where i'm located but then i'm obviously living in the world in the land i'm settling in the land which is the settlement but then the exact area it is the site and that is obviously middle lands why did my grandfathers decided to settle here in middle lands According to what I think, I definitely think because of maybe there are a lot of economic opportunities. And also when I look up there, there is a water tank. Yes, guys, there is a water tank. I've never ran out of water unless if there's a construction happening and whatever, things like that, right? And there are trees around. There is a park, which means there is less pol pollution, right? We can obviously plant our vegetation in peace and also there's a fertile land even though the land is small we are living in a concentration camp like house but then there's obviously a place where i could do vegetation if i want to and there's some vegetation i cannot speak about there is vegetation but then outside yes guys also there's a climate as i know here it is very much cold yes it is cold but then it is not that cold meaning 
it is in between it is warm you can receive the summer you can receive the rain the climate here it is very much beautiful so people settle for a different reason that is a site what reason what are the land forms that you see that are surrounding the settlement that are making the people to settle and expand in an area maybe there's a forest here and uh, my grandfather wanted to be a carpentry and he was obviously going to go into that forest find some wood and obviously build whatever chairs or whatever he wants to build using wood yes guys so you settle because of whatever reason maybe there's water and something like that, that is a side then we're moving to a situation why did my grandfather settle in middlelands the situation why did my grandfather situate in middlelands mainly because of whenever i go out I can easily find transport to move into Topsenville, get out of Midlands, move into another city or move into another town just as easily as possible or just move to work, easily go to work when once I just step out of the gate, I can easily point down and get a taste down, up, whatever direction, wherever I want to go. Yes, guys, that is the situation. Are there transport routes? Is there is the accessibility to your area is it easy to be to be situated in that area right situation speaks about transport routes arriving site speaks about landform water soil climate a lot of different things that are making people to settle and they are both are obviously encouraging people to settle yes guys all right let's move to the difference between an urban area and a rural area i will not touch much on that because of if you watch the urban heat island the video i did i think i explained a lot when it comes to the differences between the two yes we know uh the rural area it is not populated there are less people meaning there's less population meaning there's less pollution i mean and there's less of everything yes we know there's less but then there's more of land there's more of land meaning there might be more of profit if you are a farmer and stuff like that but then when it comes to uh, cities yes the urban area you know pollu pollution polluted is all about a lot of things infrastructure tall buildings stuff like that we know the differences but then that's not what we want to explain what we want to explain it is the patterns that are involved between these two settlements the patterns that are involved because of you might actually find that on question 5.3 yes guys you might find that on 5.3 yes guys there are three patterns there's a dispersed pattern, there's a nucleated pattern, and there's a linear pattern. Yes, guys, there are three types of pattern. There's a nucleated, there's a dispersed, meaning isolated, and there's also what we call our linear. Yes, guys, let me try and draw so as to better understand. I don't care what the, my, the principal might say. I don't definitely do not care. This is your final year, guys. Yes. When you are speaking about the nucleated pattern, obviously, it definitely means there are houses all over the show. There are houses all over the show. There are houses are closely packed together. There's a road here. There are houses, houses, and there's a road another. There are houses, houses. The houses are closely packed together, right? There are houses, houses. This is nucleated, yes, nucleated, right? Then we obviously move to our dispersed or isolated pattern, meaning there's a house here, there's a house there, there's a house here, and definitely there's a space. There's a space between the houses. It is dispersed. The houses are isolated. Okay, guys, now let's move to the advantages plus the disadvantages of these two patterns. When you're looking at these two patterns, they are definitely obviously the same guys not the same but then opposite meaning if you know one you definitely know the other you cannot miss that one 4.3 yes guys nucleated pattern and our dispersed the houses are far apart from one another and the houses are closely packed to one another meaning that if the settlements if the people are closely packed to one another that means they can borrow each other some equipment if maybe there are farmers in this area they can borrow each other equipment they can be able to save each other if they are criminals trying to invade a house and stuff like that and the those are the obviously the advantages 
and definitely you can be able to socialize because of there are a lot of people you can obviously be able to socialize date find and even find a future wife yes guys and even find a future wife it is easy to find your future wife if you are living in a nucleated pattern but then if you are living in that despair oh my goodness you might actually be single forever because of how are you going to see umdana wabom keys how will you do that yes guys that is so that is a story for another day as you know there's a nucleated pattern and there's a dispers a dispers if here they are obviously able to borrow meaning here they are not able to borrow each other there's a much bigger space he's there and i'm there i cannot borrow him my machineries i do not know what he will be doing with them if i'm not looking yes guys and things like that privacy you have privacy here you can do whatever you want you can come out naked and take a piece whenever you want and maybe if someone has those uh whatever you call it you please tell me the name but then if yes make sure you subscribe and educate to some reason someone has those things they might be able to invade your privacy but then if they do not you have as much as privacy as you need here there's no privacy because of there's people here and here profit meaning if you have a lot of land meaning there's money there's profit but then crime you can be obviously targeted because of you are far apart from your neighbors even if you scream who is going to help you no one you are going to die there there are a lot of things you are going to be robbed there. yes and also obviously if you try calling for help maybe you find yourself with an heart attack or whatever sickness you might find yourself and in need of an ambulance do you think they are going to be easily accessible no it is going to take time before help receives or before help comes to your house yes guys so despair definitely has its own disadvantages and also nucleated also has its own advantages why did i speak with nucleated and only despair because of i wanted you, you to understand the difference and that you can obviously pass when you are thinking about nucleated and despair yes guys and now we move to our linear pattern when we think about linear pattern this will obviously now explain and tell us more that a settlement can actually be designed or be in shape according to uh, maybe the roads of that area the physical features that are found on that particular area they obviously shape the 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 settlement yes they shape the settlement yes guys the physical features are the one that shapes a settlement remember the physical features when we're speaking about the site the exact land and its physical features those physical features can shape how an area or a settlement can look like so we first start with our linear pattern so this is our linear pattern right it's a road yes a linear if you definitely remember when we spoke about the linear scale or a line scale on the video before this one where we said it is a straight line so it is our straight road where there are obviously houses in the sides there are houses in the sides houses in the sides remember guys a settlement can be as little as a house and as big as a town that is a settlement that small piece of yana area under your roof it is a settlement you are settling in that area yes guys so it can be as small as a village and as big as a town or a city yes guys all right so now that we know this is our linear this is our linear pattern which definitely means the settlement it is created along the road the road makes the settlement possible because of people want to find themselves in the front of the road uh, in the close towards the road like myself i can obviously just go out get a taxi and i arrive wherever i want to arrive yes and after our linear scale people that are living in the coastal areas yes those deben people that are living nice deben kept out they are living in a semi circular pattern so it's like this this so they are living like this this is a semi circular right this is our obviously semi circular pattern meaning there's an ocean here and there are people or buildings and houses that are located near the ocean so this is a semi circular because of the ocean it is this because of this ocean the physical features which is called the ocean 
it's also a physical feature the semicircular pattern then we also obviously have our cross pattern definitely definitely this is what it means these are the roads these are the roads these are the roads these are the roads yes guys and people are settling here settling there settling here along so they are settling in a cross way yes guys this is a cross pattern yes guys we have a cross pattern we have our linear pattern we have our semicircular pattern and we also have our circular pattern yes our circular pattern definitely means maybe the road is like this and people are like that maybe there's another road coming through right so this is our circular pattern and lastly but not least the one that is usually examined and you might actually find it in question four number three 4.3 yes you might find it there so it looks like this this is called our t junction guys this is our t junction pattern right this is our t junction pattern this is how it looks like as you can see it's a t junction it's a t shaped pattern it's a t as you can see people are settling here settling there settling here people are settling alongside the t shape yes guys now we know these different kinds of shapes that are definitely shaping different kinds of settlements and whenever you try oh what i must remove okay okay guys now it seems like it definitely has to be the end of a lesson we are left doing one hour to go and i definitely do believe that you are definitely going to be smashing that paper and for now make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel why because of i've risked my job to come and explain settlement on your last day dang okay